So you guys know that this is already my go-to pen that I've really been loving. I honestly got like 10 of them just to like restock since I am on my last one. But then I also wanted to try the Pilot G2 pens. I've tried these before, but it's been a hot minute and I know that these are a lot of people's favorites. And these ones are really cute. The barrels are just so fun with these like silver and gold polka dots. And I also got white barrels of everything just because it matches my aesthetic, honestly. And then I also got these Sharpie gel pens. So I thought we'd just do like a quick little test to see how they compare to each other. I will say just at like first hold, this Sharpie gel pen is much lighter than the other two. I mean, nothing like crazy. It's still just like a normal pen, but the Pentel Energel pen as well as the Pilot G2 pen definitely have some more weight to it. I would say this one's probably the heaviest, but honestly, I would have to get a scale to really know for sure because the difference is so small. I do kind of like having this more weight in my hand, although maybe it's just because I'm used to writing with this one so maybe I'm biased got to take off the little cover I'll go ahead and do that on all of the pens actually this one doesn't even have the cover I know these ones do though all right so let's go ahead and zoom in here so this one is the Pentel Energel and my handwriting here is not gonna be good at all just because I'm going kind of fast already next we're gonna do the Pilot G2 pen Already you can tell that this one is a little bit thinner, although they both are 0.7. You can see it has 07 and 0.7 here. But the Pentel Energel definitely is thicker and bolder, which I personally prefer that look more. And then we have the Sharpie Gel Pen. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Just the feel of it writing just feels so different. I don't mind it at all, but it's just definitely different. I lined up all of the pens here in order so they correspond to the names that they're next. Personally, I just really like the needle tip point of the Pentel Energel pen, but I know it's not everybody's favorite. I don't know if I had to pick up like number two, which one I would choose. I feel like I would have to test it out more and then see. Testing. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the Pilot G2 for number two. I do like the ink of the Sharpie gel pen, but the tip of it is just weird to me. It does write very smoothly, but it's just not what I'm used to at all. So it just feels kind of strange. I don't know. I'm literally just scribbling everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I do like the thickness of the Sharpie gel pen. I don't know, I feel like I like a good thick ink. So maybe that's why. I feel like the Pentel Energel though, it just has like the combination of the smooth writing and the ink and like the thickness that I like. Whereas the Pilot has some good ink, the good smooth writing, and the Sharpie gel pen also has good ink, but it has the thickness that I like. So I feel like the Pentel Energel is just kind of a combination of the two. And that's just what I personally prefer. But like they're all good options. Honestly, now that I'm using the Sharpie a little bit more, I feel like it's growing on me. Something about the tip of it, it just doesn't write as smoothly as the Pentel pen, but when I do it nice and controlled, I really do like the way that it feels, and the ink of it is just really nice. Maybe I just am like a pilot hater. It's not, well, not a hater. I just, I just don't enjoy it as much as everybody seems to like it. I feel like there's so much hype around it, and it's just, like, it's not a bad pen. It's just not my, not my favorite. I think Pentel, though, still has my heart, this Pentel Energel pen. It writes smoothly. I love the needle tip. I love the ink. Ink. Oh, I need to do a smudge test. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pentel. Oop, I bumped the camera there. There's a little bit of smudge. Pilot. A little bit more smudge there. And then Sharpie. That also had some smudge. I mean, honestly, they're kind of all about the same. You can kind of see the amount of smudge. After using them a little bit more, this is my official ranking. Pentel Energel takes the number one spot. Surprise, surprise. I think overall, it's just a really good pen for just everything, for writing as well as drawing and hand lettering detailing. And then I'm gonna say that these two are tied for a second spot, and here's why. I think they both have their benefits. So for the Pilot G2 pen, at least personally, I don't think it's as superior as everybody says it is. I think it is good for writing, but the thinner ink of it, I just, I don't know. I don't really like using thinner ink when it comes to different like outlines, doodles, hand lettering stuff, or even like bullet journaling things. I don't know, I just like a thicker ink for that. And that's where I think the Sharpie gel pen comes into play. I think that thick ink that it has is really good for like outlining and hand lettering detailing. But for writing, although it is like somewhat smooth, I feel like it just, I don't know, it doesn't glide in the same way that at least I'm used to for writing. So I think that they both have their benefits and I'm gonna say they're tied for number two. Maybe I'll feel differently after I use it a lot 
more. I don't know. Feel free to fight me in the comments and disagree with me completely. I think overall my favorite barrel would probably be the Sharpie gel pen just because I like how sleek it is. It's very simple and I like the grip of it. Honestly, I don't really mind the grips of any of them that much. This is what I'm used to, but if I had to choose another grip, I like how the Sharpie's grip is a little bit indented there so it fits really nicely in your hand. But let me know in the comments down below what your favorite pen is, even if it's not one of these three because I'm always searching for all of the good pens because as you know, I have quite the addiction. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more stationary reviews and subscribe to my channel so that you can be a part of the journaling army. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys!